That is a big step in helping with the decarbonization conversation. These companies are able to take action in real time and reduce those fugitive gas emissions that are so harmful to the environment. Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Today, we're joined by Chantel Schutz, MCloud Corp's CFO and Executive Vice President. Thank you so much, Chantel, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. All right, Chantal, let's get right into it. Tell us about mCloud Corp. What is it that you do? mCloud uses artificial intelligence to help solve some of the world's biggest energy problems that we're facing right now. So we really are a clearinghouse of a lot of different technology and a lot of different AI uh, that has come together to help uh, companies across a broad spectrum of uh, industries to be better environmental stewards, to save money, and to really help with this decarbonization efforts. This year, mCloud signed an MOU with Invest Alberta to help Canadian companies decarbonize. Can you tell us more about this partnership and what sparked this collaboration? Earlier this year, we did a very strategic analysis of sort of where the company was going, what sort of impact we wanted to have, and many of our clients are in Alberta. And so it only made sense to us that we decided to first and foremost make Alberta our new head office and our new corporate home. And in the process of doing that, Invest Alberta stepped up to the plate and signed this memorandum of understanding with us so that we can partner and really help the different businesses and the province itself have a running start in this conversation around decarbonization using mCloud technology and using the different partnerships. You are helping companies to reduce waste um, and increase cost savings uh, because of that. So one of the products or technologies that you use is called Asset Care. Can yes. you tell us more about Asset Care? Asset Care uses artificial intelligence analytics to gather data and allow the asset owner to take real time in the moment actions in order to prevent certain reactions as a result of what's happening within their environment. Most recently, we've just announced a partnership that we have in order to help different businesses with the fugitive gas emissions. That is a big step in helping with the decarbonization conversation. These companies are able to take action in real time and reduce those fugitive gas emissions that are so harmful to the environment. Been reported that asset care has curbed an equivalent of 80,000 tons um, yes. of greenhouse gas using AI, which is incredible. So yes. what, what is the full potential of this and where do you see it going? 80,000 tons is the equivalent of about 18,000 vehicles a year, which I, it does sound like a lot, but when you think about it, like, wow, the opportunity for that to be an even bigger number is just, I, to do the math is just a little bit like it stops your heart a little bit. And of course, that's our goal. We will have around 70,000 connected assets by the midpoint of this year. And with asset care, the more that we can educate companies, either the asset owners within the companies in respect to what asset care can and will do to help them with the decarbonization, with the environmental impacts that we can have, and as well, Speaking to folks like me that are sitting in the in the CFO role that are having more and more pressure put on them in terms of reporting their ESG impacts within the environment. So I, really, truly, I mean, 80,000 tons sounds like a lot. It is, but the opportunity to have an even bigger impact is just, it's, it's incredible. And speaking of ESG reporting, mCloud launched its first annual ESG report this May. Can you tell us more about what you're doing as part of your commitments? This really is on helping our customers um, meet their ESG goals and primarily their goals around the environmental impacts that they're having. Asset Care not only tracks those numbers, but it also enables the asset holders to actually report on the impact they're having. And that is a big area of discussion right now in the ESG world is, you know, how do we actually take the impact that these companies are having and actually report on it. And how do we know that we can validate these numbers with asset care, with the dashboards, with the data collection? We're able to give those asset owners and asset operators the data, but then we're also able to provide information to folks like myself that are needing to go out into the world and report on those numbers and being able to stay, say confidently, these numbers are in fact accurate 
were able to go back and find this source. Thank you so much, Chantal. It was wonderful chatting with you and learning about MCloud Corp and your ESG commitments. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in to another week of Global Energy Show's 5x5 five five series. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and be sure to share it out to your networks. We'll see you next week.